Let's talk to a lady. So welcome everyone, praise the Lord. God bless you for being here. Uh, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you're going to help us. You're going to minister to our hearts as we hear your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Asante Nisana for joining. So I'm not going to spend much time according to the way I'm going to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Our topic today is quietness. Quietness, yeah? So I was looking at what is the meaning of quietness and I got that it is the absence of noise. Yesterday we were looking at how to manage anger. You know, we looked at uh, some of the reasons to why people become angry. And so today, after we stop being angry, what do we do? So the Lord is try is teaching us. And I was thinking, I don't know if you guys remember the verse of the month. I don't know who can remember. If you can remember, I want you to type down the verse of the month. And then I'm going to give you a present if you're going to remember. God gave us a verse to run this month. And I can tell you, indeed, God has been teaching us. So uh, quietness is the absence of noise. Quietness is, you know, being calm. Like we can decide right now to be calm, to be quiet. Can we try? Yes. So not doing anything, close your ears. Okay, not closing your ears, close your eyes. Yeah, and also, shh. Yeah, quietness, calmness, you know? So basically, when you talk about uh, quietness, we're talking about it's, it's not that there, are no, there is no noise, but then we decide to, you know, to, to keep quiet. Uh, it doesn't mean that there is no noise, but it means that you try to look for a place where there is quietness and run away from all the noises. Uh, I have seen most people, especially the rich. Hello, are you rich? Yes. So they really focus on um, being quiet most of the times. You know, you can be quiet in various ways. You can be quiet uh, in terms of not speaking. You can be quiet on how you're dressing. You can be quiet on, you know, just being recognized and all that. So today we're talking about the quietness, you know, the calmness. If you look at the whole world today, there are very many noises, very many noises. Um, you'll hear there's war. So what what would you do? You you want to you know hear and and and, and just comment and on on all that. There are noises when it comes to you know diseases. There are very many diseases today. So there are very many noises as we speak. But today God is telling us about quietness, nyamaza, and we are going to look at various. Um, we are going to look at various texts. So that we can learn about what is this being quiet. Uh, most of the times is when we want to talk, 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 back a show. But today God is reminding us about quietness. When was the last time you decided to switch off your phone? I know some of you are working, but you just decided I'm not going to check on social media. You know, I'm, I'm not going to check on TikTok. I'm not going to check on Facebook. I'm not going to check on Instagram. And I just want to have that moment of being silent, of being quiet. When was the last time you did that? Uh, that is a question. So today, I don't know. Maybe God has realized we have been talking so much. We have been influenced with a lot of noise. And today he's telling us we need to quiet our spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. So I've said that quietness is the absence of noise. It's being calm. And sometimes it's also abstaining from speech. So like uh, right now you guys are quiet because maybe you're listening. So um, I have a quote from the Bible. Most of the times that we are quoting from, you know, philosophers. And today I want to quote from the Bible, from the book of Proverbs, chapter 17. Proverbs uh, 17. Thank you for everyone who is joining. God bless you. So we are looking at the topic is quietness and we are looking to, uh, at a verse in the Bible from Proverbs 17, 28. Nani ya atu. So me, Proverbs 17, 28. Anyone? As I also check very, very fast. 
Proverb 17. Oh, okay, this one is not loading. Let me leave it. That's why you're told you should be having hard Bibles, hard copy Bibles, because the internet can do what is necessary. So who has gotten or uh, got Proverbs 17, 28? Proverbs, 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 I got it. Proverbs 17, 28. So I said, I'm going to quote. So this is a quote. Instead of saying Mahatma Gandhi says, you can say the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. Let's see what it says. The Bible says, even fools okay, are thought wise if they keep silent. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, this quote is amazing that even fools are considered or are thought to be very wise when they keep, when they keep silent. And they are considered to be discerning if they hold their tongues. So here we are having two things. One is keeping silent. That's what we are talking about, quietness, being silent. Number two is discerning, holding the tongue. They go hand in hand. That's why I said quietness is the absence of noise and also it's the abs, abs, it's abstaining from speech. So we are saying that if even even if fools yani mtumjinga kabisa akinyamaza inaonekana yeye ni mwerevu sana. Na pia akifunga mdomo wake inaonekana yeye ni mwerevu sana. So I don't know where you're falling. Are you that type of a person that you don't keep quiet? Wewe tu ni kuongea ni kuongea ni kuongea. Are you that person when you're busy, attend on a simiako for at least three hours and just keep it, you know, aside. Are you that person who mtu akiuliza tu swali you are there to answer? Yani you don't even think. By the way, most of the people who talk so much, they don't think. And therefore they make very stupid mistakes and therefore they are considered as fools because we are actually seeing that a person who, uh, even if uh, a fool, when they, you know, they don't talk, when they wakifunga mdomo, they are considered to be very wise, by the way, and very discerning. So quietness, kunyamaza. Number two, we are going to read, I said today we are going to read very many verses, but a few, don't worry. The book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 36. The Bible says, but I tell you, let me just put it here. But I tell you, verse 36, Matthew 12, 36. The Bible says, but I tell you that everyone will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Mm. Every empty word, every, I just said some words, every empty word you have spoken. For by your words, you will be acquitted and by your words, you will be condemned. What are the words that you, what are the words you have been saying? Because we're going to give an account Sometimes, hey, a joke. You know, sometimes we, we just joke with words. I, I, I was telling somebody, don't joke with seeds. Don't joke with seeds. I don't know if I should use that example. I don't know if the Holy Spirit is going to allow me. <laughs> okay, let me not use it. But it's basically, no, let me not use it. But that example was really nice, according to me. I'll share with each of you if you want. So I don't want to broadcast it, but that about the example. But don't joke with seeds because they grow. And we said words are seeds. So we are saying that we are going to give an account of every empty word. We are going to give an account of every empty word. Oh, you are going to give an account of every empty word. You will give an account. We are going to, you know, you use vulgar language. You see me and I'm really straining, restraining to use just empty words because I'll give an account. So quietness requires that we be very careful on what we say. Praise the name of the Lord. Most of the times we are saying, ah, we are going to be biased. You will give an account. Sometimes we are going to be biased. We are going to be biased. Those are empty words. And you will give an account. Can you imagine if you are going to be biased? Can God help us to, you know, speak the right words? And of course, the right word is the word of God, which is God. The other verse, chapter is Ephesians chapter 3, 
verse 14. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 14 that for this reason I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth derive its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. With power through his spirit in your inner being. So we are not talking about the outside first. We are also talking about the inner being. Is your inner being quiet? Or is your inner being full of complaints? Is your inner being full of anxiety? Is your inner being full of fear? Because we are, we are talking about calmness. We're talking about quietness. Is your inner being quiet? Hello? So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. God cannot dwell in a turbulent place. He dwells in a place that is conducive. Of course, it doesn't mean that God, God cannot be there. He is going to be there. But you, of course, you know that he's not going to, you know, to be, to, to, to be in a conducive environment. And we need to create a conducive environment. Our inner being quiet. Our, our, our inner being quiet. Or if we open your inner being, your heart, what are we going to find? Jealousy? Bitterness? And forgiveness, what are we going to find in your heart? The word of God tells us today that we need to be quiet in our inner being. We need to be calm in our inner being. Yesterday we were looking at anger. You cannot be able to have a calm inner being if you are very angry. Praise the name of the Lord. May God help our inner being to be calm, our inner being to be quiet. Even when things are not going on well, we need to make sure that our inner being is quiet. The other verse is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10. Did I open that? 1 Corinthians 14, 10. Let me see. Wakorinto wakwanza. Okay. I'm not able to access it, but meanwhile, before I check for it, if anybody can find it, you can type there. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10. It's a very powerful word. I can read it out. First Corinthians 14, 10. Somebody at Wangalilia, as I continue with the other one, James chapter 1, verse 19. The Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 19, that my dear brothers and sisters, yani, ukisika mtu wakuta my dear, it's either nataka umsaidia na kitu, it's either anataka kukushukuru, ay, asante sana my dear, you know, akikuta my dear, anataka umpe attention. So the Bible says, my dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Mdo yukambia, kamfano kuna semina, mahali, akwambia, ah, dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. You have to be very keen to listen. What is that? Let's see what is this note we have to take. Everyone should be quick to listen. Slow to speak and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. So we have been told to take note of these things. One is you should be quick to listen. Quick. Most of us are quick to speak. Jamini, yani tunafanyanga opposite. Nini ni mbaya nasisi? Mungu zamani mini saidia. I want to be very quick to listen. You know, just listening. Listening, just listening. You know? Number two, slow to speak. Usikuwa mraisi wa kuongea. Yani yata mtu wa jamaliza, aki my God, you are just speaking to me. Yani, mtu wa jamaliza kupeana statement, usha ingilia. Ah, wewe, ata ni kupea story. My God help me, personally. <laughs> you know this word I'm speaking to me, and also to you. The Lord is speaking to us. Other times that you know a story, Na mtu wanapea yu story, lakini like, wanataka tukuendelea. So mskize kwanza, that is what God is telling us today. That like, let's be quick to listen and slow to speak. And also slow to be angry. So we see, we are also being added that also we need to be slow to be angry. Yani mtu tu ana, anafanya kitu, unataka kumuongelesha, kuongea mingi mingi. We need to be slow to anger. Don't be angry. Don't, you know, be slow to become angry. By the way, I have learned that when you're quiet, when you want to be angry, you realize that when someone else explains, the one who you thought had made you angry, 
when they explain you'll be able to understand but when you umekuwa mwepesi wa kuongea then you you know you, you actually plant seeds au unaanza kuongea vitu mingi mingi and we have seen in the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 that we shall give an account of every empty word we speak then in the first corinthians chapter 14 verse 10 hakuna kayeni nyinyi watu tu mnaniangalia tu mnaniangalia tu mtaki kuangalia biblia hiyo angalieni biblia zile mpya so first corinthians i hope i can locate it as fast as possible so that we wind up but i hope that the lord is going to help us so that we may be quiet in our spirit and also quiet in the outside being first corinthians chapter 12 verse 36 the bible says mm mm-hmm. should it be 36 or 26 let me see first corinthians sorry it was first corinthians chapter 14 verse 10 First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 10 the bible says what at one bible inatuambia je wenye hii hii verse imekimbia sana undoubtedly there are all sorts of languages in the world yet none of them is without meaning okay masa you wanted to say something okay so um first Corinthians chapter 14 verse 10 Just a minute, I'll be back to you. Uh, 